Hello and welcome back. The monster loves you. And, um... So, last time, the audio was just so overwhelming. But this time I took it into my hands to turn that shit down to super fucking low. So it should no longer be a problem and... Wasn't this over here? The, the, or whatever. Let's resume. Where were we, anyway? Alright, let's see. We have 14 to Ah, that yes, yes, I remember now. We just started. Alright. So. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go pick up some rocks. Of Omen is a buzz. Elders glare angrily at everyone, then look down... <laughs> look back at the broken sign at the town gate. You look down at the little piece of the sign you're holding and blush. Wait. I did what again? Coming back from a hunt, you were so full of high spirits that you jumped up and slapped the sign, and you just slept a little too hard with your claws. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I should, okay, 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 whatever, alright. So, uh, good job, me. Dumb shit. Plus tree spots the bit of sign that you're holding. Hey, don't tell anyone you broke it. It'll get fixed. This, all, this will all blow over. It's just an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Bygones will be bygones. Look, yeah, what is she, is she going on about? Plus tree is often accused of thinking she knows everything. This includes human cliches. All of them. Damn. I don't even know all of our human cliches. Blistry says, I can take care of this. Look, I took a bit of the sign too. I can slip some into Rock's hair when he isn't looking. Nobody will ever believe him, since he's always lying and stealing things. No, let us come forth and admit your accidental crime. I this bit like... Aww, aww, what? What? I'd rather have them take away five, now it's all... Nah. Alright, all the gathered elders scowl at you. I took turns chewing you out, which for monsters is more literal expression than you might expect. Ragged and bloody creep back to your mobile to heal. Wow. What about Shadix? Take solace in the fact that your honor is intact. You messed up, but you told the truth, and everyone will remember that. Alright. Let this go, but take the monsters a bit more. Let's go heal people. Spine doctors treating two ancient monsters and Portent Square. She breaks off her own quills and uses them like sewing needles. A little iron pot boils over a small fire, but it's just water. Doctor seems to have run out of something. Who the force the spine doctor, man? She's the Marinus cousin twin, and has many pointy bits all over her body. She is an ancient monster, older than an elder, and has healed the sick for many years. Alright. Who's hurt? Prudence and Proofrock are lying prone, both covered with long, straight lacerations. Ev blood and slime seeps from every cut. Damn, that gotta hurt. Alright, let's get involved. Heal some people. Alright, you join the Spine Doctor who accepts your help approvingly. How will you aid her? Alright. Let's hold the cuts closed while the Doctor prepares the medicine. Woo -hoo. It's six. Yeah. Sticky vac, but you pinch, shut the wounds, staunch the bleeding long enough for the doctor to ready a healing salve. And I completely, ah, uh, completely butchered the medic's voice. That was terrible. Ah, uh, I'm ashamed to help medics all around. Spider, I shall squash you. Oh, it's spider race. Okay. Huh, alright. Let's do this! Your spider hurt your leg this morning. Watch. I had a spider, I thought I had... Okay. It's no more race. Watch with your spider. Gee, she's normally the fastest spider in the world. Even the playing field. May the best spider win. Out of 13 entries, your spider comes in 14th with... A Wow, it's Spider Race! How does that... Okay, whatever. Let's politics some more. Let's throw rocks at people. 
sit with Nash Nash and the God Claws on a tattered red blanket, eating cookies and talking about artifacts. The fork's an artifact, man. Artifacts are human-made objects. Many monsters collect them. All the garbage cans in Omen were collected from one human bus stop. Some artifacts are interesting. Some can be dangerous. All right. Let's continue the discussion. God Claws signs. I really like artifacts. I want a nice bag. Big collection, but it seems like I can never find any good ones. You and Nash Nash exchange gla glances. Glance. Upside down. Nash Nash runs a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Butchering this up. Runs a claw along the handlebars of her little scooter. They both know some good spots. Let's tell her. You open your mouth, but gas as Nash Nash kicks you hard. But why? Nash Nash whispers, that'll be less stuff for us. I don't care if you have less stuff, but if I do, you're in big trouble. Why? Wow. She pokes at me to make her point, but Rick... Yo, fuck you. Now Claude clicks her pincers happily as she does a little dance of things. She scuttles off into the woods to check out the places you described. Man, fuck Nash Nash. Nash Nash makes good on her promise of big trouble in the form of thorough trubbing. You crawl back your home exhausted and bleeding. What is? Wow, really? We're almost maxed out? What? Well, not almost, but nearly. Alright, let's do a bit more politicking and we shall go adventure. Let's eat. Got Plaza and you are arguing about what to have for lunch. I mean, she got to pick last time, eh? Suddenly your favorite fluid flies down from the sky and perches within arm's reach. The magpie chirps. Have either of you seen a cornfield around here? Used to make growls. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Aww. Really? Damn it. Better. You hear Gritman telling younger monsters about the human that almost killed them. It's the pointy parts that get you. Let's listen in. Always wait until the knife is pointing somewhere else. Then, run away. He turns to you and says, isn't that right? Right. Let's... Oh boy. Huh. Lay it on thick. Are you unsuitably impressed? But that helps with our respect a bit. Alright. So, let's do one more thing here and then we'll go on to adventure. Let's point at people and poke at them. You show your newest collection of human artifacts to your neighbors. They seem suitably impressed and listen in. Let's say some more. The truth is, you just found them in the woods, but everyone would seem so interested. It would be a shame to let them down. Monsters do love a story, so you could mm, stretch the truth. Lie big, tell them you tricked a human. Just a little lie to keep things interesting. You tell Talking Fox, these nuisances nuisance, these are everywhere lately. He tried to beat you in a riddle contest with the artifacts as a surprise. Won the contest by biting his head off. Noise. How do they react? Everyone seems to believe you. They nodded on moderation. Mm, yes, yes, mm, yes. Let's go explore. Let's go fight. You find a red hood in a basket in the middle of a forest path. A human house is nearby. Funny, you never noticed it before. There's a white picket fence out front. Circle the pretty little house. Mm. There's a great deal of blood in the yard, along with a half-dead wolf coughing weakly. Let's ask a little shit what happened. Woodcutters, friend, you can't trust them. Beware their axes, even west to knives. The wolf finishes dying. Let's take and eat the wolf carcass. Haul the straggly, heavy carcass back home. Melder points out a soon up gash down the wolf's belly and says it was good work. Alright, let's take credit. Melder's impressed. You open the nash and find stones and said the wolf. How odd. I had good honesty once. I did. Fuck that. Let's bleed out. You stalk the forest hunting an elusive swift elk. Suddenly it emerges from the underbrush. 
lowering its antlers and pawing at the ground. It's gonna charge at me! No! Let's tear it apart first. The elk charges and you duck under it, slashing a hole in the chest, but instead of a heart, you find nothing. The, all the elk turns, catches you with its antlers, and flings you into a tree. What the fuck? The elk bounds away. It's unkillable. There's nothing that's unkillable. After it! You keep chasing the elk until it pauses to drink from a stream. Then you spring at it without fear and tear it limb from limb, head from skull, antler from skull. These pieces are still... Holy shit! Holy shit! What? Wow. I didn't expect that. Damn. Just... Wow. Its pieces are still twitching as you devour them. You're filled with a strange heat that it soon fades. How bracing. Other monsters comment on the new swagger in your step as you return to Omen. Wow! Wow. That was brutal. Right. Let's eat everything. As you explore the whale mist, you notice that the air smells faintly of gingery bread. There, ahead, in, there's a flock of very fat birds pecking a trail of crumbs that winds through the trees. Hmm. Let's try the crumbs. It almost tastes like a last resort. You're not starving, but if you were, it might taste better. Alright. Let's follow the trail of birds and crumbs. It leads along, twisting paths you never knew existed. Deep in the forest, you came across a, a deep... Er, there, there, yeah. You come across a rickety human house, which smells of baked goods. You hear human speech. Two children are babbling nearby. Hmm. Let's eat one of the children. When will you get a chance like this again? <laughs> the children emerge from the house as it begins to burn. The girl looks back as an older human starts to scream inside and you make him move. The boy is too slow and tired to respond. Oh yeah, so delicious, so very good, such a rare treat. The girl turns back as her brother's hand slips out of hers. She sees you. She blinks, not sure whether you're real or not. Let's continue the meal before she can react. Let's. The girl's eyes widen as you spread your claw. She slaps you. It hurts. It hurts worse than a slash from the claws of the oldest monster. You spin and knock her down, then move into end the fight before she can end you. Let's take home some of your meal to share. Walk in the omen with a bulging belly, some of smelling of meat and gingery bread. Every monster you meet gets a little something put in the larder. And toes! Toes for everyone! Yes, toes for everyone. Let's, um, hmm. Let's go eat some more. You're following a deer in the forest when the shell comes to an erupt and just in front of a cave entrance. The prints look strange, like the deer double-backed walking backwards in, in its own tracks. It's a trap! Okay, so what do you do about it, smart monster? Let's turn the trap against the deer. You walk into the cave and find Hamrag taking one of his famous naps. This huge monster is known for his ill build ability for when he's awakened. The twigs naps in the bushes. The deer is fleeing. Let's let's wait for the deer to come to me. We didn't wait, but the deer has slipped away like a shadow. Darn. It's really hoping for a nice good meal. Alright. Let's do some tracking, I suppose. You and Nash Nash encounter the Proud Bear. This is an honor and a problem. The Proud Bear has killed monsters, something rare in the animal kingdom. He stares at you. Alright. Let's, mm, let's consider the bear. The bear is so potent that it deserves capital letters when being referred to. He shines from within, radiating a light invisible to the eye but plain to the heart. Alright. Let's formulate a plan of attack. The bear seems to read your smallest motion as you, as though you have shouted your intentions. You stand on his hind legs and gives you a little bow. Huh. Hmm. Oh, what to do? What to do? Uh, I don't know. Let's deck alongside Nash 